chair anymore. That See, too. that is ridiculous. Yep. I don't know. I don't well, know. That, that, that's what I find. I think. I think. I think Wally was a documentary like Idiocracy was, but like Idiocracy was for adults and Wally was for kids. Like, wake up, motherfuckers. Well, the thing is, is that I guess scientists are seriously. It's a. It's a. It's a legitimate study. They're studying the possibilities of uh, someday sending a crew of I, I. I don't know how many people that would be, but basically, people that would just journey on to whatever that habitable planet is. Well, we're going to have to. Well, yeah, because we fuck everything up. I mean, we're, in all honesty, we're the worst thing that could have ever happened to this planet. You know... We're fucking plague. I, I, keep, I keep wondering, you know, we keep seeing all these, you know, people, people say that they've seen aliens and shit like that. I wonder if the aliens are going to come down and be like, "All right, guys, we t- we gave you a chance. You fucked it up. Now now it's time for us to take over and show you guys how to do it right." Do you think so, or that's kind of what I'm wondering? Or do you think we, we they're just going to move us around? Like, all right, we're going to relocate you again? Because I have a feeling no. this, is not, this is not our first rodeo. I have a feeling yeah. we fucked up. We fucked up another planet already. We might have. I, w- I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it at all. I mean, you know, hey, we're fucker uppers. We fuck these up. That's <laughs> it's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do it. That's how we roll. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, so um, all right. So let, let's get into the, the that that was that was just something interesting. It caught my attention because I was like, damn. I'm like, we're actually. I mean, Elon Musk talking about colonizing Mars. You know, and, right. And, of course, uh, the trips to the moon uh, are, like, supposed to be, like, they want to use the moon as a relay point. Yeah, like a stop-off. Yeah. Kind of like the rest area of space travel. Yeah. I got to go potty. You got to wait another two more light years till we get to fucking Mars. (laughs) You better better hold it. Well, luckily, no. Mars is not light years away, luckily for us. No. It's not that far. It's a couple of year travel, though. It's, uh, yeah. It is. Wow. When you get bored, like, what do you do on on a flight that long? What do you do? Well, I'm a freak that I am always thinking of something. I got 10 million thoughts going through my head at all times. So, I don't know if you've noticed, and all the time you've you've known me, when have you ever heard me say I'm bored? Yeah, I gotcha. But, I mean, you're talking about a year, year ride. You know, the thing is, I'm always thinking of weird. Of course, you know, you know, doing our our, our job, the the job that I used to do and that you still do, uh, doing the security, it's kind of like a, a year long. It's kind of like a year long boring tra- this, uh, traveling ride, anyways. Like every day is kind of the same. Good at it, you have to be able to deal with the. I guess if you want to say boredom. Bored boredom i guess i mean obviously you understand that you're being paid to be vigilant you know vigilant yeah so obviously the stuff we want to do we can't do right yeah it's funny all right so uh yeah that, that's about it you know uh so what what do we what are we gonna okay talk about first so Maybe woman or ghostbusters Let's break into the one I thought they did better with, and that's going to be, I can't say, because I think they both are crap trailers. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, am I excited for another Wonder Woman? Yes. Very, 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 very. I'm very excited about it. I thought the first one was off the chain. The it was fucking her, balls to the wall. I love it. The more it. I look at her, the more I see Wonder Woman. I used to be like, oh, they're trying to make her look like Linda Carter or this and that. You know, now it's it's like she's become Wonder Woman. Right. And, yeah. and I wholeheartedly agree with you. Yeah. Uh, but, and you, people are going to hate me for it, but I don't think this trailer really did the character or the movie series or the storyline any justice well maybe it's just the first one you know how they usually release one uh, well release better one i get that but at least tell me something well yeah, i i get i it. mean what's it about what's it about 
Well, we know that uh, Kristen Wiig. Right. Uh, she's going to be a big factor there. I guess she's the she's gonna right. be the villain. And we know the we know the one guy's back. But yeah. See how? Well, um, you got me fucked. You got me fifty shades of fucked up because well, you don't go sure into they'll, nothing. They'll let us know because uh, obviously. Okay, they're going to let us know, but you need to give us give us a little something. Give me a little morsel to chew on. I'm pretty sure they will. I mean, probably somehow okay, something but, will bring them back. You know. Because see, here's what here's what, here's what's going to happen. Until this movie comes out, I'm going to be marinating on this thought. How the fuck did he get back? Where the fuck was he? And I don't like that. You got to give me something, hmm. and then give me some kind of give me some kind of a story plot, something, something. All I saw was her inside of a mall. Hmm. You know what I mean? Well, I like the, well, it takes place in the eighties, which is kind of like uh, which, nostalgic. It's kind of cool. We were talking about the other episode about hanging out in the malls and. I, I like the idea. I like the I like the fact of they really made it seem like it was eighty four. They really did. The cop cars. Right. Everything. The music, the cop cars, the clothing, you know, the the, the manner in which they were talking, everything. Yeah. Yeah, all that real synthy music. I, I get it. That was awesome. I love that part. I just wish they would have given me a morsel of storyline. How did the dude get back? Right. Give me a give me a, a little taste. Give me a little something, something. You know what I mean? Well, that was just... I, DC still has a lot to learn. Right. When it comes to... Uh, I guess, in in a sense, I mean, they're still trying to play catch-up. Catch-up with, with uh, the big boy. Right. And, and, uh, and they can do it with... They can do it with, with Wonder Woman. Yeah, they... Definitely, I mean, what they they did, what the Joker did, a billion dollars, right? Yeah, and I still haven't seen the Joker yet. I haven't seen it either. Which uh, I, I my daughter it. says it was amazing. Wow, uh, Kid Daygard says it's amazing, and we're supposed I'm supposed to watch it so that we can sit there and uh, break it down and spoil the fuck out of it in uh, the one of the Rebellion episodes. See, but with that movie, I don't think there's going to be that much spoiling. I mean, you kind of know what happens. Well, you he goes he, crazy. He goes crazy, becomes <laughs> the bad guy, and and becomes well, the the, the good is bad guy. The best, like the, uh, the the understandable the understandable bad guy. Well, yeah, it gives us a background story of why he is the way he is, and okay. right, all right, okay. So, trailer number two. Was Ghostbusters Afterlife? Yeah. Have you seen it? Yes. I didn't. Quite honestly, the most exciting part for me in that whole trailer was watching those kids take uh, Ecto One for a joyride. And I don't know, were they doing a drive-by? Were they playing with the proton pack? Yeah. Because it seemed like they were just going around playing with the proton pack, just blasting shit everywhere. But yeah, I just I I like the fact that they're bringing the old car back and they're bringing back the old equipment. Uh, are the old guys going to be back in it? I believe so. Yes. With so the, they didn't even show them. No, they didn't. I think they're. Uh, that are they the, waiting? The waiting, the you know, keep us. In suspense, like they're gonna, like the kids that. are gonna fuck everything up, and then they're gonna. Come in and be like, step aside. Let the professionals handle this. Kind of like that. Or be like, okay, let me clean up the shit you made. You know, clean up your right. type. I, I, it could be so... They could go in so many directions. It, it's crazy, man. I hope they do it right. Well, I like do. I said, that... I was talking earlier to Dayguard, because today's been a busy day for me. Work, record, run home, eat something real quick, and here we are. Because right. you know, with that, sometimes that's the way we gotta roll. Right. I mean, and uh, I was telling him that I want, I'm hoping, I really want these movies to surprise the hell out of me. I want to come out of that movie theater feeling that I got my money's worth. That they told me a story that I, you know. 
And you know what else I want? I want closure. Closure. I'm so tired of regurgitated storylines. Hmm. Give me something new. Well, you know, what's that uh that song? It's all been done. <laughs> well, like on TV, they're bringing back Party of 5 from the 90s. Mhm. They're bringing it back. I mean, are we that out of sto- are, are, are we that out of storylines that we're just bringing back old shows now? What I think, changing uh, the actors? I mean, a lot of the times, and uh, you know, one of our favorite podcasters, uh, Mark from the Fat right. and Beyond, he usually says that I guess these movie companies, networks are afraid to take a chance on new material. So what do they do? They go back to the same old shit and try to revamp it. He goes, and he's hungry for something new. That's he. Uh, he was ranting about that, and can't remember which episode. And I was saying, yeah, yeah, we're all hungry for something new, but it, it taking a chance on something new. I mean, right. 1977, George Lucas took a chance, you know, with what we. To, I mean, what's well, become to, quite honestly a religion to some. Just about, yeah. Speaking of taking chances, I took a chance on a movie today. Hmm. Yeah, watching. Um, do you have Amazon Prime? Yes. Okay. Indies. It, it was an indie movie. Uh, completely low budget. You can tell all the way. Don't expect fucking Wolverine or anything to come popping through. And like I said, low, low, low budget. Kind of like I hope uh, to bring out the guards, the K Dog and Pato story right. one day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh anyways, this guy uh this, this older guy he's somewhere in our age range and uh goes to work every day, blah blah blah. Same old he's an accountant, nice boring life, has one friend, basically, you know, he's divorced. Uh kind of thing. He just all he does, he goes to work, works, come home, you know, rinse and repeat every day. Wait a minute. Well uh, uh, why does that sound so familiar? <laughs> I don't know. Why does it? I don't know. That sounds um, familiar. Like I don't know. Two thousand sounds like Pato two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Right. It's about right. Mm, okay. Uh, well, his one his one friend start just one day doesn't show up for work, mm. and uh, sends him a note. Hey, come find me. And basically, he has to go to these different places and and try to f- retrieve notes and whatnot to <clears throat> clues to find out where she's at. Um, and and like I said, it was an indie movie. It was very very low budget. Um, you could tell it was probably one of the first uh, full movies that the director had made. You know, what I mean, if that makes any sense, it wasn't a very flashy movie, um, but. Marvel it was movie. so good. It was amazing. It was it was what we as 40 something year olds needed. You know, that's what sometimes the the message that's in the movie is something that sometimes we we 40 year olds kind of need to hear. And what is the name of the movie? Find me. Find me. Okay. So yep. I'll, that's something that I'll be looking into. So about a guy named Joe. So if you <laughs> Yeah, check it out. It was an hour and a half, something like that. Easy hour Sometimes, and a half to sit. Like I said, it's a, when you have a good story, I mean, it's sometimes you don't require all the fancy digital effects, you know. Sometimes yeah, I mean, it was kind of pre- it was kind of predictable. Uh, you know what I mean? It was I can tell you I can go on all list a mile long on probably things that why people m- would probably not like it. But I can Sometimes. also go straight up and be like, it, it, it was it was what I needed to, to see. Well, okay, you were talking about a, f- a few a few episodes back where you had like superhero burnout. Yeah. You were tired of, you know, okay. It's like, it's cool, yes, I love it, but it, it, there's it's just so much of it because for a while there it was like, Captain America, Iron Man, Avengers, Batman. <laughs> it, it, right. was, it was just like, it, and you were saying that you had like superhero burnout. So something like this, I could see being a nice, uh, how can I say this? Escape Depart- from. Yeah, kind of a departure. From everything that's out there. And just, you know, 
have the opportunity to watch a good story, something fresh.